In this video, we're going to provide you some pro tips on how to balance a garage door with a Torque Master Plus spring system. Let's party. Okay, so there is a mechanical science behind everything. And so we want to basically set a gauge for our deep socket and our socket wrench. And basically it's just a line so that way we can kind of tell how many turns our Torque Master spring is actually turning. So keep into account that there is a device that you can put on here um, that I have used, but I don't like it as much, or I don't think it's, it's as superior as this particular method. And so keep it in line with what the suggested turns are. You should be able to see that you got some suggested turns there. But we're basically gonna do that for this. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I know, okay, I have my midpoint here. And so I'm going to make sure that um, this line, as it goes over, it's gonna be considered a turn. So I know that in one of my videos I had mentioned about feeling and clicks. And so I still feel that you will have to find a balance between the two but we're just gonna go ahead and use this line as a gauge to be able to determine how many turns we have. So let's do it. Hey party people, Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and if you're getting any value out of this video, please hit that like button. Now when I started out in the business, I remembered simply hating the Wayne Dalton Torque Master spring system. I just felt it was too complicated. Quite frankly, there was just not a lot of support for this type of spring system but it wasn't until i actually went and asked for help from wayne dalton did i come to grow and respect what they have done with this type of spring system i feel it's perfect for the 9100 model garage door and quite frankly they created a really good ecosystem with this type of spring that type of door working with a genie garage door opener motor All right, that's one turn. Okay, two turns. That's three turns. Four turns. Five turns. Seven turns. Eight turns. Nine turns. Ten turns. Eleven turns. Twelve turns. Thirteen turns. Fourteen turns. Fifteen turns. Sixteen turns. Okay, so we put 16 turns, which is the recommended turn count for a seven foot door here. We're gonna put the same amount of turns on the other end, and then we're gonna check out the balance. Now we're gonna check the balance of the door. So one of the things that I wanted to make sure that you understood in this video is that when you're using a 5.8 socket, you wanna make sure that you have a defining line. That is, you wanna make a mark on your socket head to allow the turns to the Torque Master Plus be determined. 
So just like in this video, if you're using a piece of tape or perhaps some chalk or some type of uh, uh, liquid marker where it will make that defining line, that will give you the necessary starting point for each time you make a turn to your Torque Master Plus spring system. And if you don't have anything to make a defining mark, well usually sometimes these socket heads have these defining markers or these little uh, indications of the actual measure to the socket that uh, can easily be used as your starting point. So every time you see that come around, you know that you can apply one single turn for those small quarter turns to the Wayne Dalton Torque Master Plus spring system. And that was just something that on the winding tool from Wayne Dalton just didn't really do properly. It had these numbers on it, and so each time that the number would turn, you would hear clicks, but it wouldn't necessarily mean that it was actually doing a full turn. So this is just one of the reasons why I don't recommend this tool, because it's just not as efficient as your standard 5.8 socket and socket wrench. Now one last thing when it comes to winding the Wayne Dalton Torque Master Plus spring system. Wayne Dalton will usually provide you this chart. And on this chart, it has a number of measurements there that basically will indicate what your door height, how many turns your door height needs. Now that's pretty important because as you've noticed here, uh, for a seven foot high door, you're gonna wanna put about 16 turns. So it's very important to make reference to this chart. You wanna determine obviously your door height so if your door is seven foot high, you'll put 16 turns. If it's a seven six, you're gonna put 17 turns. And if it's an eight foot high door, you're gonna put about 18. So again, just keep it in mind that this chart is important for you to reference to when you're winding the Wayne Dalton Torque Master spring. Okay, so don't forget to take off your vice grip that's holding in your spring. Looks like there's sufficient tension onto the cables on both sides. Let's check the balance of the door. That's not bad. Very good. So it took about 16 turns. Um, I say the balance is good. It might be a little bottom heavy. Nope. Yeah, right there it does go down by itself. It's at the almost one foot level. You can add an additional turn or perhaps maybe quarter turn if you want a much tighter balance. For, but for this specific door, the Wayne Dalton 9100, um, this is perfectly fine. So, if winding the Wayne Dalton Torque Master Plus spring system sounds like a party to you, well, I'll leave some affiliate links down below specifically for some of the tools that will help you tackle this job easily. And of course, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Because I am nobody. But that's the reason why this channel exists. Because I know there's a ton of YouTube videos about the Wayne Dalton Torque Master Plus spring system. But they come at you with the perspective of a do-it-yourselfer or someone who is not necessarily in the garage door contractor business. I am a licensed contractor and thus that's why this channel is meant to provide you pro tips and tech reviews for all your residential garage door needs. So if you find any value in that, please hit that like button on your way out. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and parting with me. Now please check out this other video right here that can provide you more pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage store needs. And as always, y'all stay safe.